All right, in this video, we're going to look at how to chase outside threads on a part such as this. We have to put a little bit of chamfer on it first. That's on the top. About a 45 degree chamfer is nice. You can do it by hand or with a machine. And then we're gonna put it in our vise, straight up and down, hopefully. We're gonna look at three different holders or die stocks that we have. This is a die stock. So try to get in the habit of calling it a die stock. And uh, before we put our die in, we want to open our die up. This is a split die. You can see the split in it. And basically, we're going to tighten this screw here in the back of it. And that will open it up very far so that we're not going to cut our threads too deep the first time. We're going to slide it in like this. We'll tighten her up right into the dimples. And now some dies will say start this side only. But this is a cheap die and it's got a lead. You can see the lead right there. It's just a little bit of chamfer right there and you can see it also right there. So if it doesn't have start this side only or start this side first, I'll usually start with the letters um, pointing upward or as I'm running the die down the part, uh, it'll be facing down. Uh, the second die stock I have is just a little bit smaller and all of these are the same size die, but it is just a little bit smaller. And again, it doesn't say this side up or this side down or start this side. So I'm going to stick it in the here, whoops, like this. And make sure the set screw falls into a dimple. Just like this. Okay, that's what's gonna hold it in there. And the last one I wanna show you is the die stock with the hex in the center of it. Hex dies are used primarily for cleaning threads up. If they're a little bit rusted or corroded, it will clean the threads up. It won't put metal back on, but it does clean them up very good. So this fits in here because this one, let me pull it out and show you. It is a Craftsman. It's a 3H24, but on this side it says um, start from this side. So we want to make sure we have it like this. We'll tighten this side up, and that looks like the only one we have. And one is plenty. Okay, so first I'm going to start by using the smaller um, die stock with a smaller die. And I want to show you how to get these started. Now we want to make sure when we run the die down that we see it like this. So the die comes in from the bottom. And you should see the extra material on the back. We're going to hold both sides of it. And we're going to take it around. And the hardest thing is getting it started right. So I'm going to look at this side. Spin it around and look at the front side. And I am leaning quite a bit. So if I'm leaning, I want to fix that before it gets out of hand. Okay, there we go, a little better. Like that. And let's see, that looks pretty good. That looks pretty good. We actually want to look at it from two directions. Look at it from the front, like this to make sure we're not tilted. Look at it from the side to make sure we're not tilted as well, okay? So once we get to this point, we'll go ahead and take our die stock off. Like that. And now we want to make sure that we're going to go straight down. So we want to check this. Let's see, we'll check it with like this. And I'm going to basically check it with this steel rule. 
top and bottom. I'll check it around this way. Top and bottom looks pretty good. Check it around the front. Mainly if I just check it on two sides, I am in good shape. So that looks pretty good. So what we're trying to do is make sure this distance stays uniform from top to bottom. And then this stays uniform from top to bottom. Okay, that means we're going straight. So let's put this one back on here. Looking for my little dimple. Okay, there we go. It's kind of a slow process, but as a machinist, I always try to tell the students that it's better to take your time and do it right. So now let's put a little bit of oil on it. Back it up after a couple turns, and I'm going to double check to make sure I am still running straight. Just like that. And looks like we're cutting good, cutting good and straight. Back it up every once in a while to break those chips loose. Now, if this metal were a little tougher, say if the material was just a little tougher, like stainless steel or, I don't know, something like a Hastelloy, Monel, uh, something really tough, we would definitely have to use a bigger handle. Because that handle would not fit, that's for sure. So we would have to use something like this. And you notice on the die stock, make sure you start with this side up. Okay, so now I have a little bit more leverage, a little bit more pull, just like this. Okay, and we can take this one back off. If it were a tough material, and when we take this off, we don't want to mess that top thread up. So we'll take it off real nice and easy. So well, that looks pretty good there. I'm really happy with that. And say if these threads were boogered up a little bit, we could easily run our hex die or square die. The hex dies and the square dies without the split in them, they are made for cleaning up only. That's all they're for is just to clean up a thread. If you have a thread that's boogered, thread that's rusty, thread that's corroded, all that all that this die is for is to clean those threads up. So what I want you to do is find two different sizes and this one turned out pretty good. You can see I was starting to dig in. Whoops, when you see this on this side here, that means I was starting to dig in a little bit there and coming away from it here. So I was actually going just a little bit crooked. The die was going about this direction here because it started to dig in. Okay, so the deeper you go, the more you'll notice that. And I have a couple samples to show you here. This one here, they had it crooked and they went too far. And the die, once it started crooked, it will not straighten up. It continues to go crooked no matter what. So what I want you to do for this project is to get uh, two or three different sizes, say uh, quarter inch, eighth inch, uh, half inch, nine sixteenths rod, and just thread about an inch down. Run it out just about an inch down. Make sure that you check it for squareness. A lot of people get lazy, they will not check it for squareness, and then they'll just go crooked really, really hard and really, really fast, okay? So if you have questions about this video, about threading, as always, send me an email or send me a text and uh, I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you for watching.